Do you love going to backgammon tournaments? If so, the Miami Open 2025 is one you won't want to miss. And I'm discussing that tournament with my good friend, Avi Sheshbesh Cohen, in this video. Stay tuned to find out more. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe, and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Let me know what you think in the comments below, what you like to see in future videos. Will you be there? I'll work on it. If you love Backgammon, you can become a member of this channel, giving you exclusive access to the most popular videos. My book, Backgammon Backgame Strategies, is available. There's a link in the description to where you can get it. And if you're interested in lessons, please contact me via email. Uh, my email address is also in the description. Again, in this video, it's my great pleasure to be conducting an interview with my good friend Avi Cohen to discuss the upcoming Miami Open. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Just a little correction. It's 2024. 2024. No, yes. now it's 2024, but the tournament's going to be in 25. No, it's 2024. Oh, it's 2024. Oh, 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 I'm thinking about all the other ones. Yeah, it's it's just coming up soon. See, I'm used to, I mean, <laughs> thank you. It is 2024 <laughs> in uh, November. So so we'll discuss that. Thank you for correcting me. I'm used to doing these in advance, and we're kind of uh, get, trying to push this in to, to get it before the tournament. So thank you. How are you doing today? Busy. Busy, yeah. busy, busy. But I'm I'm so excited. This is this is like um, you know, it's it's I, I remember like a year ago when I had everything like planned and you know, talking to a lot of people. This is what I want to do, this is what I'd want to do, and it's just everything comes together and I'm so excited. It's like you know, counting the days, it's like what 11, 11 days left. <laughs> yeah, I see it. You put it every day, every day on Facebook. Okay, I'm excited to talk about that. I'd like to um ask you a little bit of biographical information if i may uh can you tell us for the viewers to get to know you where you're from where you grew up and what you do now please well originally born in israel and you know in the middle east you're this is like a natural to born and play baggage so that's right. basic where i got my my basics um but it's a little different there's no double in cube back right. then it's kind of a traditional way that people like to play um you know roll with the hands just li different rules that people that used to play here they'll be like okay that's not backgammon yeah. but surprisingly there are more people that play traditional way than the modern way if you call it right so i got my basic in israel that's where we start playing and uh, I think it was in 2008 when I moved to Florida and I started my business here um, and then just played backgammon. Yeah, very. So you learned you learned uh, when you were a kid with family. Yes. Yeah. And now now you have children, right? I have two little girls, Shiley yes. and Emily. Do they play backgammon? They 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 know how to they know the basics, but I'm, I'm working. <laughs> I'm working with them. How old are your kids? They're nine and uh, seven and a half. Oh, okay. My son is nine. So he, he kind of okay. plays. Yeah. Plays? So, sort of. Sort of. He just moves the chest. Exactly. They, they the like to have fun, but it's, but it's a it's a great thing. It's a great thing to do uh, with family. Uh, yes. So that's fantastic. I know there was the... Uh, I guess it was called the Sunny Florida Tournament for a long time, and for a variety of reasons, they weren't able to continue that. But I'm very happy that you're able to uh, start this Miami Open. So, congratulations! Yeah. Actually, on that. oh, thank you. Actually, the last one of the um, which was last year that Ben did, which yeah. uh, um, I won. So I have <laughs> about ten, well, including the tournament. So I have about two weeks still holding the title. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I have to let it go. <laughs> yeah, so you're not going to be playing yeah. in this tournament because you're organizing it. Well, that's why I got Arda. <laughs> talk All right, so talk we'll about talk that. about that. We'll talk about that. Let me go ahead and uh, share the website here so we can kind of go through it. Are you able to see that now, Avi? Yes, I can. Okay, very good. So this is the website for the first Miami Open. I'll put a link in the description, it's accessible uh, through the USBGF as well. This is the home page, and I'll kind of scroll down, and you can kind of guide us through it. Uh, but here we can see it's going to be at the Newport Beachside Hotel and Resort, uh, Seoul Miami Resort, 
uh, on Collins Avenue. Is that A1A for? Well, that's actually when we started with the uh, new the Newport Beachside Hotel and Resort is the main event where it's the games are going to take place. Okay. And that was sold out within a month. So that wow. way we added the Sole Miami, which is the second hotel that you see there. Okay. As of yesterday, that was sold out. Wow. So we at the moment at almost 700 room nights, which is crazy. Wow. Uh, so great. we are working. We still have about 10 more days. Um, there is still more room available um, on probably not on the room rates, but there are more rooms available. And we're expecting both of hotels to be fully full. Yeah. Wow. So that's great. So here, this is the website over here. They could just click to book the hotel. I won't click that. People can do that. But it's going to be November 19th through 25th, 2024. So this was the 25 that I was confused about. <laughs> but it's it's going to be for uh, several days before Thanksgiving. And this is the sponsor, Legacy Board Backgammons. Uh, that's Bill Shea, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct? That's it. And this I this... This is actually our main event sponsor. So they're, they're right did, there. I did an interview with Bill and he makes beautiful boards. Do you want to take a moment to recognize yeah. the sponsor, please? Amazing. He's amazing. Um, he actually was the first one that actually believed in this uh, project. Um, it was very hard in the beginning to convince other sponsor to kind of step in because it's a new event and um it, it's very hard to start an event with good sponsors and bill was actually the first one that immediately saw the potential and immediately we both clicked on and yeah. let me tell you this guy is an artist and they're making handcrafted tables that are just unbelievable um all leather very unique wood shapes natural it's just the type of tables that they make are very unique. It's not like an, a typical board that you played on. And the cool thing about this sponsor is that they actually created um, three. Originally, it was three, but now it's going to be four. And I'm going to tell you in the end why, because it's a surprise we're going to leave in the end for you guys. <laughs> but originally, three tables, brand new tables, were made for them in order for us to use in our streaming. So all of the streaming station, which we're going to have three of them, are going to be played on beautiful tables. That's fantastic. I know he makes beautiful boards. I've seen yeah. them. It's like furniture. It's, tables. Like, it's like art. That's what I think. Yeah. Um, now, exactly. speaking, speaking of boards, I know you have a very large collection of boards, don't you? Uh, well, a little bit. Maybe yeah. <laughs> about, um, can't see it now because it's in background, but probably about 150 to 200 boards. Wow. Which are the ones you play on the most? Um, believe it or not, when I travel, I travel with my um, Galaxy, um, the small one. Love it. You know, handy. You can literally carry yeah. it with you. Um, I sold my only tacky board really? uh, a couple months ago that I won in Chicago. Oh, but, uh, let me tell you, I got a good price on it. It, it okay. was just, I couldn't say no. I <laughs> uh, got some FM boards, Turkish boards. I always look for deals and um, I love buying unique tables. So in the Miami Open, we're going to have a special boutique shop. Now, when I say boutique shop, I mean maybe 30 or 40 tables that are going to be over there for people to see and admire. And if they want to buy it, and help us sponsor the next event, they're more than welcome to. But we're going to have beautiful, beautiful selections of tables and boards and just uh, pieces of art that everything related to bagging. Wow, that's fantastic. Look, looking forward to that. I know it's it's coming up. How many people do you have registered approximately? Um, well, like I said, we already have 700 room nights, which is um, about 550 in... Um, the Newport, we have about 150 room nights at Sole. And I know in a fact that we also have about 30, maybe 20 to 30 other players that took Airbnb and local cheaper hotels. Um, not that our hotel weren't a good price. It's an amazing rate in the season on the beachfront under $200. This is just with the resort fee, it's an amazing price. But 
going back, um, we have probably 800 room nights to 900 room nights out there, which is probably reflected to about 250 players. So, wow. I mean, I want to, I want to make, Probably let let's say above two hundred for sure. We're going to be above two hundred. Wow, that's fantastic! That's fantastic. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's let's go through this. I know you have all these things, uh, and then we'll, we'll look at this a little bit further down. It's easier to read, but uh, I want mm -hmm. to go through the team. So this is the team. You're the producer, and then you have Arda and David. Tell us about them, please. Well, this is the dream team. That's that's. I mean, it's the best director in the world, and it's probably. I don't know if a lot of people know David, um, but David Presser is probably the best teacher in the world. Uh, when it comes to a cue play, um, he's very humble. Not a lot of people, again, know him. But if you're going to listen and, and understand the type of student that he has and the type of achievement that he has with each and every one of them, you'll be in shock. One of the, I mean, few of the best players in the world are basically under his wing. Um so he's a good friend. And when I told him about my idea of the TBT, which is basically a traditional bet game and um, tour, and it's involved with two things, which is David's boot camp, which is going to be a two day boot camp, uh, strictly about the Q play, very, very intense. And we're going to go after, and I showed you on the uh, boot camp page. Um, following right after the boot camp, we're going to have a TBT event, which is a no cube event. This will bring a lot of the traditional players prior to ABT. So together with this TBT, I believe we can get another 30, 40% of those players jumping into our circuit, which is amazing. And I think every tournament in the world should do that. Um, so David is going to be the boot camp, uh, organizer, director, of course. And Arda, I mean, no need to uh, introduce Arda. Arda is um, head director of many, many tournaments around the world. I mean, name it, he's there. Uh, that's his full-time job. Uh, he's doing the Monte Carlo, the Dubai. Right now, as we speak, I'm watching games of my friends playing in Cyprus, yeah. which uh, I was there two years ago. It was an amazing trip. But, um, I mean, this team is probably the best team that you can basically higher to do an event in this caliber yes yes i'm excited about that so for the viewers that are not familiar with the the traditional backgammon so the differences are there's there's no cube right we we try to do it not complete tbt no, i mean not complete traditional because we still have to kind of like stay with with what we can but um your first role will be the same h1 roll a die and then the higher plays that move okay you still have to use cups uh there is no doubling so the game just keep going basically back and forward there is a count for gamens which is two points we don't count back gamens so there's no three points um and the most uh unique rule is uh everyone that wins let's say i won my first game i start my second game so in other words, okay. ideally, I can even start with the double six six. Right. That's that's a traditional rule that we we couldn't change. This is a traditional rule. But other than that, you know, you just keep going and yeah. It's some a of the other rules. Game. Yeah. Some of the other rules that I used to play with is like on the opening. Sometimes people play each player rolls, and the person that rolls the higher die has the option to either play that or roll again. But oh, really? Yeah, and then there's also we have no pick and pass in the inner board. This is this is well now you're talking cultures. There's yeah. some culture that yeah, they find it actually offended. So if you do that and you don't you're not from that culture and you actually play that, you'll you can be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I spoke with Arda about that when I did his interview. Um okay, so that's very good. Let's continue. So here um you can register by clicking the link and the, the tournament brochure is basically all the things we're going to go through. So I won't click on it here, but the viewers can click here. Uh, let's see, seven days of nonstop backgammon right off the beach. So uh, let's talk a little bit about this. Um, the ABT, please go through that for us. Well, the ABT is going to be, as you see, three divisions. We're going to have the open, the advanced, and the intermediate. 
Um, then we have the TBT, which is the uh, no cube event. It's going to be just one division, single elimination. Um, all of the events you see here, they're going to have rebuys. So I, I believe that you know rebuys are good because if you if you lose one time, you want to try again. You always want to play. And why I have so many side, I think this is the the most side events ever been in a tournament in the U.S. I think we have every side event you can think of and why i did it is because when i travel uh let's say to cyprus or if i travel to another tournament let's say i lose in the main event and sometimes they even tell you you can't play something if you're still in the main if you're still there so and if you lose you got nothing else to do and you spend so much money traveling and hotel and food it's just not worth it not to play so when i go to a tournament i just like to play whatever i can uh, so that's why we have so many things to do that it's your choice if you want to play literally 24-7 or just stick to the main event. And what I mean 24-7 is we're going to have a room, like a mezzanine big room, that is going to be open 24-7. So at night, I love that when I go to Cyprus, you can go down at 4 in the morning, 3 in the morning. People will play chouette on the side. Money really? game. It's going to be cool. It's going to be, it's going to be a different, this is going to be a European tournament. It's not going to be a U.S. tournament. This is something totally different than what you used to. Yeah, that's uh, fantastic. Uh, a lot of these, I see the jackpots, the doubles, the uh, seminars. We're going to, we're going to talk about that and the BMAB yes. Players Cup, yes. a lot of them. And you have a lot of boards, the F FTH and Art Gammon boards and the legacy boards. That's fantastic. Yep. We have the Super Speed, which is, uh, I think, um, only Cyprus has it now. I, I'm, if I'm not correct, and I, uh, I think in Las Vegas they did it once long, long time ago. But the super speed is really something that I like, and I think I'm going to eventually make a post on uh, whoever beats me in the super speed and take the title from me. I'm gonna give him a good gift. Yeah, <laughs> That's but this is a very fast game. It's a very fast game. Yeah. So moving on to the U.S. Youth Championship, please tell us about this. So, like I said, I really believe that there's a lot, a lot of traditional players, especially here in South Florida. The, the community is huge. And um, a lot of those kids, they they play traditional. But not only that, that the game of backgammon, you know, it, it's not like uh, in different countries, it's even they teach it in school. So for some reason in the United States, they still treat it as a gambling. Like, oh, no, no, dice is no good. But if you, yeah. look, if you look into the game, it's a mind game. And it teaches problem solving. It's 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 uh, help you improve your memory. And it's amazing for kids because it sharpened the mathematic ability. And when I play with kids, and you can see it in the picture, those kids won a tournament in a synagogue with people, professional players that play in the um, uh, sunny Florida club. Um, yeah. Those kids won, and they won a board. And those three brothers, two brothers and a sister, and they literally <laughs> killed everybody there. So it's just show you that <laughs> age, and this is the age we want to bring to the circuit because eventually there will be better. There will be masters and grandmasters out of this. So I have a nice sponsor, really, really amazing family um, that really jumped in and uh, funded this uh, event. Uh, and as you see, top eight players will receive um, boards. They will receive hours of education with grandmasters. They'll have fantastic trophies. Wait till you see the trophies. But they're going to feel that everyone is a winner. I mean, eight places is, is huge. The, the, the stage will be full with happy kids. That's fantastic. Yeah, I like to promote the game in general, uh, but also in particular to underrepresented demographics such as youth and children so thank you for doing that uh let's move on yes. by the way it's uh free so oh it's free for the children fantastic yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's free um, yeah. okay so the next thing is the tbt program and two-day boot camp you mentioned it earlier but you can tell us a little bit more about the details yeah well we, we we're gonna go to the one of the pages of the boot camp so when we get there you'll see exactly okay. we'll talk about it a little bit more in um details okay. very good so this is these are some of the side events, right? Yes. This and is some of the side events. So there's the Women's World, the Backgammon Cup. That's that's like a women's event. 
Yes, that's uh, actually Karen Davis um, is basically running the Women's World of Bagging and Cup, and it's going to be a women's tournament and as, tournament as well at the same time that the youth tournament start. That's going to be on Saturday evening, right after dinner. Very good, and I see Mochi there doing the speed game, yes. super speed. Yes. Mochi is one of our uh, seminar speaker. We'll talk about that more. Yes, and then I see on the right, that looks like Michi and Patrick Jabaley playing doubles. That's uh, doubles, yes, yes. Very We're good. We're going to have also very, um, a very tough field of uh, the Miami Beach doubles. I think it's going to be a very interesting tournament to have. Good, good. Okay, and now that there, there's four seminars, or maybe more. I'll let you talk about this, please. Okay, so as I mentioned before, I believe in teaching and bringing new people to our circuit. And the TBT, I believe, will bring a lot of players. I'm expecting, I don't want just to throw numbers, but I'm pretty sure we're going to fill up a 64 bracket of uh, new players from the TBT. Um, we already have over 30 people registered to the boot camp, which is an amazing. So right there, you have a nice group of, of people. So I thought about making those seminars. And just to make it short, there is another, this this is considered a small project, the Miami Open. My big project is when I'm working on for like the past three years, it's called Bag M and Connection. And we're going to make a big video on that later on after the Miami Open. So a part of the Bag M and Connection that I have, I have a huge education program where I managed to link over 60 teachers worldwide that are going to work with me. So together with all the... Um, uh, connection that I have and the, and the power of those people that really want to step in and help, I managed to, I could have bring more, but I guess every morning is enough. Um, mm -hmm. I was managed to bring this top world name, like Frank Frigo, like David Presser and Mochi, and of course, Victor Ashkenazi. Where else did you see Victor Ashkenazi make a seminar? That's right. So all of those people, good friends, really, really stepped in and really, really given from their time, energy, and of course the experience to each one give a nice hour of uh, of a seminar. And we managed to bring um, another seminar that is going to be a surprise. And I'm pr probably going to post it in the next few days, but uh, we managed to bring Mark Olsen. So he's going to do wow. a, a fifth seminar. And... Um, we're going to actually stream. We're going to have a very, very unique stream stations. So we're going to, like I said, on nice tables, but the Galaxy channel will stream our finals, the finals matches of the uh, Super Jackpot and the main event. So stay tuned. It's going to be nice. So right here, we got five different seminars that we're going to do every morning for everybody that want to learn. And trust me, when you finish one hour of these teachers, Combined with the boot camp, combined with all those sessions, you're going to become a better player when you're going to join the Miami Open. That's fantastic. Very good. All right. We'll continue. And then there's the awards ceremony. Uh, Talk about that, please. Well, this, this is something that I also wanted to change in the USA, especially. And let me, let me explain you. So when I travel in the US, let's say I went to uh, a lot of tournaments, New York, um, San Antonio, Chicago, where else did I play? Vegas. They all kind of like, you know, the great tournaments. But it seems like on Sunday, there's very few people that stayed that are live in the event. I mean, when, when you go to other tournaments like Dubai, like Cyprus, Arda's tournaments, everybody's there on Sunday and everybody is going to... Um, Everybody that wants something like a trophy, and there's a lot of trophies, um, are welcome into the stage and everybody's clapping to them and they feel they they keep a memory from this event. And we don't have it in the US. You know, when I won this tournament, when I won the Florida last year, it was last year, yeah, 2023, when I won the title of the ABT of Florida, I was lucky to get Ben take a picture of me. That's how bad it was. <laughs> and it's not supposed to be like that. You know, trust me, it's not a great feeling. So in Cyprus, it's different. I mean, you can see in the background of the picture, you have probably 100 to 150 people clapping to 40 people that's standing on the stage. This is huge. 
And this is what we're going to do, but we're going to do it in two parts. The first part is going to be the awarding ceremony, which is going to be in the main event, um, introducing every winner. And, and let me give you a hint. We have over 80 trophies. So it's just telling you how many trophies we're going to give with all those side events. So we have a lot of people to welcome to the stage. And if you want your trophy, you're going to have to stay to Sunday night. You're not getting the trophy <laughs> if you're leaving. So that will be right after dinner. At 7.30, we're going to have the awarding ceremony. And following that, an hour, it's going to take about an hour, an hour and a half. Everybody, and I'll say everybody, we already have 80 registered. We're flying into the uh, after party. And that's going to be in a Greek, huge Greek restaurant that we closed out with belly dancers and breaking plates on the floor and great food and just a Greek atmosphere. And it's going to be amazing. And Arda fantastic. promised to dance on the table, so I want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see Arda dancing on the table. I'm gonna, I'm gonna message him about that. Uh, <laughs> do you, do you, I, I mean, you, usually people, at least in the United States, they're there for like a weekend tournament. And they have to get back to work on Monday, so they leave on Sunday. Do you anticipate that gonna, that's gonna be an issue for anyone? No, oh, because we see in the hotel reservations, um, probably 70 percent of all the hotel reservations were until Monday. So, oh, wow. and I'm and I'm saying it again. If you win a trophy, you will not get it if you leave in early, <laughs> unless unless something happened and you have to go. Okay. But I really want to push that award ceremony, and I really think that after this event, I believe every director will consider doing this as well. Yeah, I think I think that's really nice uh, to have an award ceremony to conclude everything. You see everyone together one last time and you're having fun. It's just a good experience. So good. Congratulations. Thank you for doing that uh, here you sure. can come ahead of time. There are things to do in South Florida. So do you want to go through some of this, please? I don't know if they're going to have time for it, but it's kind of like, uh, you know, sometimes there's a lot of people that comes with the wives and kids because yeah. this is like um, um, vacational time and location. So this is more for people that, you know, take it relaxed and bring the family and somebody wants to do something, or even if they players just come to play in the main event and they want to have some extra day or two. So this is just, you know, nice areas to travel. Um, you can scroll. Actually, this is the, the Newport Fishing Pier Park. It's it's mm -hmm. incredible. This is the pier that you we're going to have in the uh, hotel. So literally you can walk on that pier there's a restaurant over there, and this is all within the hotel area. So this is amazing. Very nice. And how's the weather this time of year in Miami? It's warm. It's good. Well, cross your fingers. This is Miami. It can have rain, but listen, we're we're. I mean, it's a. I think the most beautiful weather is right now. Number one in the world. Like the yeah. winter in Florida is the best in the world. Yeah. And there's some shopping. People of like course, shop. shopping mall for the ladies, shopping mall for just everyone. Okay. And then, oh, these flamingos. There's some flamingo gardens. <laughs> There's a Bayside Marketplace, which is an amazing place. Um, Key West, if you have, if you never drove to Key West, I mean, it's literally driving on the water. So it, there's a lot of cool things to do in Florida. That's fantastic. Okay, so... It looks like okay. So here at the at the bottom, um, you have some of these are the sponsors. Um, let's take a moment to recognize the sponsors, please. Sure. Well, as you know, we could have done all of this, and this is huge. This is probably going to be probably the number one eventually. This and New York are going to be in the same caliber. Um, we could have done it without sponsors, and you know it's very hard. Like you said in the beginning. It's very, very hard to make a tournament at this size or even to do a tournament. It's it's very, very hard to find the location, the right price, the the the, the time. Um, and I was just lucky enough to have good relationship, good friends, and we managed to put this together. Hopefully, this will be for years to come. So first of all, you have the ABT and USBGF, which I don't need to... Uh, uh, tell anyone, but this is this is our federation. This is the United States Vacuum Federation. Um, and thanks to them, we got the opportunity to do this in Miami. So uh, that's great. And we have the Women's World of Bagaman. We talked about it. We got Game and Stuff. Um, 
which is our um, uh, president of the USBGF, I believe. Yeah, John Perner, he represents FTH boards, correct. Mainly John, which doing a lot of great things to the game, and I really, really appreciate him. Uh, right below him, we got Gaming Guys, which is um, uh, Art Gaming, I Art believe. Uh, yes, Ed. Ed Corey. Yes. Um, I hope he will come to the event. We got uh, Ace Point, which is uh, Bill and Tara, of course, famous streaming, which are going to work at the Miami Open. They're going to do the streaming for us, which is uh, uh, a very interesting because they are super busy, but we managed to kind of sneak into Miami. But they're doing all the streaming worldwide, the best tournament, and their work of streaming is just uh, probably the best in the world. Uh, so having them in the tournament is a blast. Um, right next to it, we got a Players Cup, which is the uh, new logo for the BMAB. Um, and we're going to have uh, uh, Litzenberger come and do it. Uh, Roberto? One of the, yes, Roberto. Uh, one of the local sponsor is the Mariana Doctor, and he's actually giving all the prescription for people that needs um, mm -hmm. treatment. Uh, he's actually a good player, and he will be in the tournament to play. He likes money games, so be careful, guys. Okay. <laughs> uh, right below it, we got the sunny Florida bag. I and mean, let me tell you something. This, this, um, Karen Davis runs the show and she's doing so much for the game. This is just, you know, she, she, she's, she's amazing. Uh, just to give you a heads up, the past one month, we had three, three events, uh, in West Palm Beach, then in Miami, then in, uh, uh South Miami. So the whole month, um, what they did for us, they sponsor the Miami Open, and literally half of the uh, money that came from the uh, players uh, went to uh, to us. And in return, we gave uh, uh, free entry to the uh, main event uh, divisions and also a board. So it, it worked out well. They managed to raise almost $2,000 for us, which was amazing. I mean, this is just like our local players. That's how nice it is. <clears throat> We have uh, right next to it, sorry, P40. Now, let me tell you about P40. P40 is, they really want to jump into this event. Uh, they jumped a little bit too late, but we managed to to put them in something that is really meaningful. And they're going to give uh, a board to the winner of the um, Eds tournament. Uh, that's the senior ones. And um, what we did, we named uh, our senior uh, after um, Ed that passed away just recently. Ed O'Loughlin. Yes, yes. So they're going to give a brand new P40 uh, board for the winner uh, as a sponsor for this event, which is amazing. Thank you so much. Yes, uh, those are beautiful. I have a P40 board myself. I mean, it's 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 a beautiful work. And, you know, some people say you either like it or you don't like it. But when you see a P40, you know it's a P40. Yeah, it's beautiful. I think the, yes. the biggest thing is the sound people are not used to. Exactly, exactly. Uh, right next to it, that's metal. I don't know if you ever saw me walking with those bracelets. Let me show you. Um... I think I've seen them. So there are an amazing bracelets that, believe it or not, but my wife and daughters makes. And you will see people like... Uh, well, I don't want to say names, but a lot of grandmasters are carrying them. Okay. And, and not for counting. I think one of one of the players, that was so funny. She said, what are you doing with this? So I made fine. And I said, I, I, out of humor, I said, well, it's beads, so I'm counting. And she was like, what do you mean counting? Are you counting pips with that? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so, no, you don't count pips with that. But it's, it's known for um, kind of like release a little bit stress. And kind of like play with something while you're thinking. So it's it's very, it's very nice. And actually, in the culture, in the Middle Eastern culture, you're you see a lot of people walking with that uh, just for luck. And we kind of like twist it into a uh, bag game. And so there's a nice uh, luck symbol, like a hamsa on it, and some nice dice. And you can literally choose whatever you want, any color. So we're going to give away almost every winner of side events and a main event a bracelet. So that that would be cool. Right next to it is Chris Lloyd. Chris Lloyd also jumped in re very late um, because um, 
one of the owners is super busy and luckily he's here locally in West Palm Beach. And uh, we also going to um, have them sponsor one of the uh, events, which is the uh, mega jackpot. We're going to stream the mega jackpot on Chris Lloyd's uh, boards. Uh, the mega jackpot, I think, is going to be a very interesting field. It's a $2,000 buy-in with uh, a nice side pool, and we already have 16 players there, close to 16. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to get to 16. There's going to be some rebuys, and it might be more, but we have some serious names over there. So if you think you can play with the best in the 2000 mega, call me. <laughs> very good. Very good. So thank you to all. I hope I didn't forget anything. Um, well, we'll go to the other turn. ones. There's th this one and there's the schedule. I guess we can go to the events here and I'll just scroll down here. Let's see what we have here. Um, these are, oh, so this is the, the format. Yeah, this is of, like, um, yeah, like a format of uh, explaining you each division and, and each side game, how many points you play, how much it's yeah. going to call, when it's starting. Right. So this, <clears> oh, well, we'll just kind of let people uh, scroll down themselves on the website. But I wanted to show this. Um, oh, actually, scroll scroll up one second. I think I forgot oh, some yeah. of the main sponsors. A little bit more. Yeah. Oh, so here. this Vitor, Vitor Bolana, yeah, 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 he's he's an amazing board maker also, and he's going to actually sponsor the main event winner with one of his beautiful boards. So thank you, Vitor. Yeah, he makes beautiful boards too. Uh, so let me see. Was there anything here? This is kind of goes to the details. And then there's the schedule here. Yeah, if, if you notice, there is a... Uh, yeah, if you go back to the events... Okay. Just want to point something really nice for all the people to see. So if you're going to scroll down slowly, slowly from the top, you'll see in the blue lettering, it's always say Bagaman Connection. You see Bagaman Connection, Bagaman Connection on every event. This is again Bagaman Connection is is the big project that uh, we're gonna work on it right after the Miami Open. But they're giving away basically a board and a necklace, a bracelet for every single winner. Uh, I don't know if you can see now. We have a back uh, an image, but all my place here, the office is full with boxes of boards. We have <laughs> over, over eighty boards that we're gonna give away. So this is a huge sponsor right there. Yes, very good. Yes. Thank you. So let me see the schedule again here. And if people want to see, I, we won't belabor this, but people can scroll down and see the schedule. Starts yeah, it's very, very, yeah, it tells them everything they need to know, timing, and, and uh, every everything that you click on is going to take you to the exact spot to read a little bit more of the event. Very good. And then if people want to register, they just click here, and it takes them to the registration so they can fill this out here. Yeah. That goes easy through. registration they can choose anything they want to play the and this is also they can change at any time if they get to the main event and they want to change uh, an event they can do that yes and on the at the upper right they have the links to the team and the boot camp and all that very good very good is there anything else on the website that you wanted to go through uh well the boot camp um is oh something... yeah let's do the boot camp here okay yeah, here the... we go the boot camp is really, really intense. I mean, let me tell you, when you finish this boot camp, I was, I was, I'm gonna do the boot camp. Um, I'm just gonna give you names. Karen Davis is gonna do the boot camp. She might change because it's on the same time of the uh BMA BMAB, but there's some strong names that go into this boot camp. This is a privilege to have David Presser come and do it. Uh so if you're gonna scroll down, you're gonna see all the um the time. It's a uh, oh, excuse me. It's really uh, an intense um, seminar, a lot of hours of education. And when you're going to finish this boot camp, you're going to be such a better player. Um, you're going to understand percentage and the cube and how to not afraid of the cube and how to use it as, as a great tool. Uh, so this is going to be on Tuesday and Wednesday. And on Wednesday, just after lunch, he's going to have um, a match quiz. Now, in the end of the match quiz of the end of the seminar, we're actually going to have also winners. We're going to have trophies. We're going to have gifts. So it's not only, it's it's like a little side event. And that's the TBT program that is going to be the New Cube main event right after the seminar. So those two days are really going to um, get new players to our circuit. Very good. Very good. Thank yes. you.
very excited about it. We're actually going to bring a um, professional photographer to take a video of this um, boot camp, break it up in section, and eventually it's going to be available online at Bagman Connection. That's great. And then if they want to book the hotel, they just go here and they can click on this and this will go to the first hotel and then there's the second hotel too. Correct. Yes. And they're both um, next to each other, probably in about six, seven minutes walk. You can literally walk on the beach if you want. Beautiful, um, beautiful there. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the area is amazing. This is um, probably the best. Sunny Isles is a beautiful place. Even at night, it's it's full of stores and restaurants and like a main street to walk and you write, it, it's just beautiful. It's just magical place. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Okay. So let me stop this. So it looks like we went through everything. It looks like, wow. Yeah. It's, it's do you want to meet, amazing. Do you want to meet the real team behind the scene? Yes. Okay. Let me call them. Let me call them. I hope we're not going to make some noise for the audience, but I really want you to, to introduce my, um, uh, my wife and my two little girls, and you get to see them in the event, everybody. So okay, you're, you're calling them on the phone. <laughs> yeah. I okay. Them to... Let's see. Let me shout them. <laughs> we'll say hello. I don't think we've ever done this on the, on a video, but it's fantastic. They're coming. Ah, buena. They're really excited because they're doing all the bracelet and they're always helping me fix everything. Uh, hello. So this, you need to step this, up a little bit is, further. Hello. Well, How this are is you? Spidey, and this is Emily. Wow. I'm going to go right here to the camera so they can see you. Yeah. The there. The ball. And they're really excited, right, for the Miami Open? Yeah. And this is Maital. Hello. Hi. Shalom. Shalom. <laughs> so we are, crazy. we are the Cohens, and we are going to be at the Miami Open, right? Yeah. Was it, what is Miami Open? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of fun. My uh, I do a lot of these videos, and my kids like to come on and say hello. So that's a lot of fun. Thank you for bringing them. You're welcome. You're welcome. Very so good. really exciting. We're counting the days and we have a huge, huge, huge surprise, but I can't really tell anything. And we're waiting for like the last, 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 last second. So because it's still not 100 percent that it's going to happen. But if it's going to happen, this is going to change the U.S. tournaments, the way we look at them. So hopefully if everything we went through is not enough, Way to the last surprise that is going to be probably revealed on um, right after the um, uh, opening ceremony. Oh, okay. So after the, after the event starts. So good. Oh no, before. Oh, before the event starts. Oh, okay. yeah. The opening ceremony will be on Wednesday, right after dinner. Okay. So right there, we hopefully cross fingers that we're going to have uh, a huge announcement. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Looking forward to it. it. Looks like it's going to be an outstanding event. The Miami Open, November 19th through the 25th, 2024 at the Newport uh, Hotel um, in Miami. Very good. Do you, uh, I think we went through a lot. Uh, is there anything else you would like to mention or do you have any final comments before we conclude the video? Um, I mean, it's it's. Everything is on the website, everything you need to know. We also have this uh, beautiful brochure that we made that basically it's going to be available when you're going to click on the um, uh, brochure. So every time you're going to click on it, it's going to take you to a beautiful brochure explaining everything you need to know. And um, we're all excited. We're all waiting for you to come and enjoy this beautiful event. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to be one to remember and stay tuned. Yes, it's going to be fantastic. I wanted to thank you very much for joining me, but also obviously for your very hard work. You've done a lot for backgammon um, and for the Miami Open. Uh, so thank you for that. I uh, hope everyone can attend. Uh, all the information will be in the link in the description. We'll go ahead and conclude the video. Thank you to the viewers for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Please like and subscribe and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Let me know what you think in the comments below, what you like to see in future videos. Will you be there at the tournament? Uh, if, you, in, if you love Backgammon, you can become a member of this channel. That will give you exclusive access to the most popular videos. Again, my book, Backgammon, Backgame Strategies is available. There's a link in the description to where you can get it. And if you're interested in lessons, please contact me via email. My email address is also in the description. I look forward to seeing you in future videos. And until then... Keep rolling your dice.